uh, defensive line alignments out there, um, a lot more than maybe what we saw during uh, camp. Was that just for this game, or do you see that as being uh, a big part of the defense? Uh, it was more yeah. a personnel, trying to match their personnel, and you know, trying to keep some of our guys, you know, uh, giving them a break. Uh, so. You know, we, we had five guys, down guys, and one linebacker in the game. So that was, a, you know, another way to try to rest, you know, cage and all that good stuff. But it was more about the matchup. What do you call that? What do you call that package or scheme? Joker. So, Joker? Yeah, we had it. We had it. I mean, we've been having it. Now, I would assume that with the, as much as uh, Mississippi State throws the ball, you have to come up with different packages to, to match up with the number of guys that go out in the field. Does that mean more linebackers, or does that put more emphasis on the secondary? Well, we're looking into it, probably more secondary than, than linebackers, but um, we're still working on it. So, But, yeah, most definitely when you go against his offense, you know, you're going to try to try to uh, match him for for their personnel. And you faced him when you were um, at uh, previous Pac-12 schools? At Washington, USC, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so what's the key then to trying to slow down this type of offense? It's just being disciplined with our assignment and try to, you know, get the, the quarterback out of his uh, comfort zone. He can't sit there forever. And then, you know, obviously recognize formations because he does a great job moving around and creating different formation, but really it's the same formation when they mail it back. So recognizing all those, they, all those stuff. They had, I think, 250 yards of yak um, in the first game out of 460 or something like that. What's the key to minimizing that? Tackling. We got a gang tackle. They're big. You know, they're, they're big. The receivers are big. They, you know, they're big up front. So we're going to have to be physical up front and tackle really well. Well, how would you assess the open field tackling against San Diego State? And do you think you can apply that for this, this game? Well, that's the plan. You know, okay. That's a big plan. You know, today and tomorrow's practice, focus on tackling. You know, uh, you know, when you look at the first week of college football, that keep just stand out to me when I'm watching games. And really, we're going to need to have that uh, Saturday. Do you expect Hunter to be back on Saturday? Yeah, he should be back. He was at practice on on, on Sunday. Yeah. How did his sack set the tone for the rest of the game? Um, it was it was a big play, you know. It was a big play, but like I told him, I said it's amazing when you just practice and you communicate really well. You know, that's the first day install. You know, they went to empty and we checked what we're supposed to do up front and sacked. You know, so it was a big play. So. Um, he went out and Russell was in, but then you obviously you wouldn't want to play Russell every play. So Sterling Lane got some action too. What is? How would you assess Sterling's progress since he got here and how he played in the game? You know they're coming along. You know, like I told you guys before, I like to play a lot of guys. I'm not afraid to play guys. You know, I know they're gonna make mistakes, but again, the only way you're gonna learn is by playing. You know, and, and so uh, was it perfect? No, but he, you know, we showed him on Sunday the film, and hopefully he learns from it because we're gonna count on those two young men. Did the rotation go like the way that you wanted in terms of snap counts and, and all that stuff? Yeah, I thought so. You know, the offense did a good job running the football. It kept us off the field a little bit. That helps, you know. But uh, D-line wise, we like you said, we played with five guys. So, you know, that was expected. Uh, and then we played with five, you know, five true freshmen, you know, in the game. That never happened. You know, we had two corners. We had Manu in there. And then, obviously, Davis and Lane. Regarding uh, substitution and all that, uh, how often does um, Mississippi State sub? I mean, are they bringing new guys in off the field uh, on offense that allows you to have that opportunity? Not as much. Okay. Not as much. So it's going to be a different game. We got to do a great job of managing our substitution. I know. How much is go ahead? How much does that help in terms of just managing substitution? Having a guy like Jerry Roberts who played the whole entire game against San Diego State. Well, it's important. You know, that's part of it. The whole coaching deal, because when you really you got to take advantage of substitution. If you ever see a sub, it's like a waterfall. You know, guys are going in one at a time. I'm just trying to get time to rest some of the players that are on the field, and also give me time to have the process information and formations and things like that to make the right call. When you're game planning, is it harder or easier to face a team that has that one dominant good wide receiver, a team like Mississippi State? 12 guys caught a pass, no one had like 100 yards type of deal. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard because you never know. You know who the main guy is, you know, when you're trying to double somebody. Is. So it is hard, especially, you know, a week like this. We went from a running team to now to a passing team. So it's a totally different game now. So we just got to do a great job preparing our guys. Stukes dressed and warmed up last week. Could he have played if you guys needed him to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he could have played. Yeah, but you at the time I was just telling Walk, I said, hey, let's just save him. 
uh, give him one more week. Hopefully, we'll get him back this week. You could use him against this team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. How did Isaiah do in his present in his absence filling in there? I thought he did a good job. You know, I told everybody. You know, I said the best play in the game was the, the, the touchdown we gave up. And everybody, you know, the kids look at me like I was crazy. But if you look at how our team is coming together, you see the kids that ran over and picked them up. It says a lot about our team and the defense. That shows a lot, you know, how caring they are about each other. So, but overall, I thought the kid played. He made some great, great plays. What was it like to get a game ball? Uh, Have you ever gotten one before? <laughs> I was outside playing catch with my son, and then they came out and said, "Hey, <laughs> you got to get in there." So, but it was it was nice. It was nice. So, coaching in this conference for a long time, what's the identity of a Mike Leach coach team? Uh, shoot, man, they air the ball out, and they don't care what you're in, and you know that's his attitude. You know, I've been around it. You know, working at USC with with one of his quarterbacks, so I'm kind of familiar with the offense and how they think. Uh, it's not so much what we do; they just do what they do. They may not run the ball as much, but they still use the running backs in different ways. Uh, so they ran, they ran the ball, I think, 30 times last week, I believe. So they can run the ball, you know what I mean? So we got we got to be prepared for it. How do you think Kobe Cage did in his first start? Pretty good for you know first time. You know he made some plays. He made a big third down stop there in the, you know the first series. So um, he's just got to continue to learn the game, and I you know I expect him to play even more uh, you know a bigger role on our defense. Paris is someone who. He had a basketball background, a little bit late to football. It's really uh, improved a lot since he's been here. Had that huge uh, force fumble, one of PFF's highest graded players. What have you seen from him just in terms he's of He's getting progress? better every practice. You know, I, he was a kid that he was big, but he was very raw. Not very, you know, developed as far as what the skill set that he need in order to play the position. And I think Coach Gofusi and Coach Hanley has really done a great job bringing him along. And you can see it in the game tape, you know, he's using his hands, coming out of his hips, you know, he's getting off of blocks. So, you know, the sky's the limit for him. So it's going to be your first uh, home game. What, what was probably the most memorable game you remember just coaching here at Arizona Stadium? I, it's funny, I tell that to people, I said, man, this is a hard place to come and play, you know. Uh, there's so many times I've been here, but probably, shoot, when I was at SC, it was a close game and we blocked a field goal to win the game when Leonard Williams was there. So, 2014. Yeah, it was that game. So that's the game that stood out to me the most, you know. So, but I'm looking forward to it. Didn't Leonard play like 80 snaps or 90 <laughs> yeah, snaps or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had some IV in the locker room at halftime. Yeah.